Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome back to more Let's Play Long Gone Days. Last time around we left the camp as Adair promised to take us to the field hospital so we didn't have to continue in Mission Pergolia. But then, well, we started getting chased by our own soldiers and called traitors. Today we're going to see if we can further escape and uh, what else happens. So let's head down here and, well, here they are. More soldiers. You two will finally face your punishment. Wait, don't shoot. We have no intention to fight. We can explain what's going on. Here, it was granted permission to take this soldier back to the... Private 716, your service ends here. The Corps is no place for defective soldiers. Defective? That's kind of rude. I mean, we claim to have tinnitus, you know. Um, so, I guess if we then say we're not defective, they'll probably get mad about lying. But, you know what? Screw them. I'm not defective. This is a misunderstanding. He's not defective. This is just temporary. Failure to follow instructions, questioning your superiors. And on top of that, desertion and complicity. What? Your little conversation's been recorded, Doc. Oh. As I thought, they are, are recording us and spying on us. So, yeah. Then they overheard our entire conversation about wanting to leave and about our condition being fake. That's not good. We... We swear to protect everyone. To make the world a better place. We've been told all our lives that we are the protectors. That's what people expect from us. I may have failed to follow my orders, but I don't regret it at all. You tell them, Rourke. Maybe I'm an idiot because I still don't understand what we are trying to accomplish with this mission, but I do know that shooting civilians is not what I'm meant to do. None of us should be doing this. <laughs> it's even worse than I thought. He's delusional. Private, not only are you betraying your brothers, you're insulting Father General Eugene. Well... I'm not going back there to kill innocent people. I don't care about the consequences either. I don't know what values you guys are upholding, but yeah. Whatever the case, I'm not going back there to kill innocent people. And Adair agrees, apparently. Is that so? There's no turning back now. And you, 802, you should be ashamed of yourself. The lieutenant had high hopes for you. And yet you decide to do such a thing. No. Goodbye, brothers. Well, I guess we're gonna fight them. Also, in between episodes, I did use some items to heal up because we were very low on health. But uh, let's see if we can do this. So we have Soldier A, B, and C. They look kind of different. This one has a helm, so he might have, like, extra defense on his head or something. Um, but this guy has, like, medic stuff. So he's probably gonna heal. Should we take out the support first? I think that might actually be a good call. So, yeah, let's, let's shoot at your head. 87 not bad um and let's see so yeah i did use up some items so you might notice that we have a few less of some things um but let's see is there yeah we have some grenades i've never used those amount of cocktail damages multiple foes at once does that hit all of them i think it does Let, let's try it out it would be great if it could take out the medic ah not quite Okay, we'll take some damage here then. 89, that's actually quite bad. 60, that's not too bad. Ah, oh, and you use healing, you jerk. I oh, only healed 35, that's not too bad. So I think we can take you out then with a headshot. Ah, oh, no. Come on, I can't afford these misses. Uh, come on, let's try again. 79, yes. All right. That's one guy down. Two guys left. Ah, uh, grenade barrage. Oh, you have a grenade too. Ow, that hurts a little. Oof, okay. Um, I think what we should do is our breeding technique so we can do a little bit more damage in the upcoming turns. Because there are still two left. I think that would be a smart move here. Yeah, let's raise our attack. I also like the animation of that. Um... And then we could do a bit of damage. But with how much 
they are damaging us. What I should probably do is actually heal. Uh, I'll heal Rourke this turn. Because both of them are hitting for like 50 plus. So it would be bad if we yeah, got hit too much. See, oof, we are already back down. Okay, let's see if we can take out the core soldier A who might have lower health. Ah, come on. We are so unlucky with all these misses. Uh, yeah, you need healing out of here, else you would get... You could die in a single turn, and I don't want that to happen. How? That still really hurt. Ugh, both of us are pretty low on health. Okay, let's try again. Just don't miss. 122. That's good stuff. I... I can't. I can't afford to take a shot. Because if that guy shoots at us, then we could die. But, oh, both of us are pretty low on health. This is pretty risky. Do we have anything that could heal both of us? Hmm. No. No. Hmm. We don't have anything that could heal both of us. Okay. I need to keep Adair or need to keep Rourke alive at least. So let's heal him and hope that they don't kill both of us. Ooh. That is that is risky. I think we need to heal with both people right now. I can't see. Okay, there we go. Uh, hmm. I might want to use a med kit. Maybe some band. Yeah. Yeah, I need to use a med kit because they're doing so much damage. If we don't heal up a lot, we're just gonna like keep being here. Um. You can just use bandages. I think that will be fine. Okay, good, good. Both of you attack Rourke. That, that's fine, actually. Yes. Great. Okay. Now the core soldier. I don't think I need a headshot. So... I'll just shoot you in the arm. And he still misses. I'm trying to not be greedy. And I still don't get it. And yeah, there I had to be greedy because his attack is lower. I feel like I've been really unlucky with... With my attacks missing a lot. Alright. I think I can kill you with arm shot. Nope, not quite. Oh, no. Uh, this is this is kind of frustrating because I really feel like I'm getting way too unlucky. Even if I don't get greedy, I feel like I'm missing way too much. I'm not really sure what the term is missing. Oh, this is risky. Uh, I really would like to just finish him off. But I also know that we die. Oh, I need to use another med kit. That's that's a little frustrating to be honest. Alright, let's just use our skill here. I don't know if I should keep my items or keep my morale. I don't know what's more important. Okay, well. We should definitely be able to finish you off this turn. Thank you. Okay, good. So that leaves one soldier now. That's fine. Because we can only shoot at one person each turn. Grenade. Unless, of course, he uses a grenade barrage. In ca which case, he can attack both of us. You know what? Actually, I think with more than 100 health, we should be fine. Of course, it doesn't help if we miss a lot. 82. Ooh. Okay, can we kill you? Come on, Rourke! Why are you missing so much? It is so bad how much Rourke is missing. It really is. It's kind of frustrating. Like, sure, I am going out for headshots, so you should miss a bit more than going with body shots, but still. 
Uh, well, we got through that fight. All right, we can get get a black balaclava, which gives us plus four agility, plus five defense, plus two luck, or fifty morale to everyone. Hmm. I think I want this. I think good headgear would be nice. We would get extra agility, extra defense, and some extra luck. I could use that, so I'll, I'll pick that up. I'm not sure what's the smarter move, but that's what I'll go with. You're not saving anyone by doing this. <laughs> Our brothers will keep coming after you. This isn't <coughs> over yet. They'll be okay. They're just unconscious. But we can't stay here. They'll send more people looking for us. Let's go. All right, Rook learns piercing shot and Adair learns first aid. So cool, we get some new skills and we got healed up after that fight. So that's nice too. Okay, so Rook piercing shot. Fires ammo that pierces through an enemy's defense with chance of causing bleeding. Ooh, sweet, we can cause bleeding. That's really nice. And first aid cures burn, bleed and blind. Okay, so that's actually pretty nice. Also, let's see. I think I'll equip this on you yeah that would give you some nice extra stuff all right and uh i'm just gonna ignore you guys uh, looks like we have another bridge let's go hey thank you for helping me back there you don't have to thank me i'm sorry actually The things you said, they're beginning to make sense now. I think I kind of know how you feel. I never ever question anything. I'm so used to following orders that I never even asked myself if I was okay with them in the first place. But what you said is right. What's the point of fighting for a war we don't fully understand? Why does the Corps want to start this war? We don't know, and they're not telling us either. We are completely disposable. We just don't matter to them. What we say, what we think, not even our lives have any meaning back home. That's why we have no other option but to keep running. It's just the two of us now. Sir, I found them. So, before we move on, I, I just want to say, I I think it's really cool that Adair now turns around and also, you know, is like, questioning the orders but i can't really blame him for taking a bit longer to turn around because he was a medic he didn't actually have to shoot anyone so i can understand that for him the distance between the actions was a bit further and he didn't as much directly feel to blame for civilians dying as work who actually put the bullet in their heads so to speak so I can understand, but I am glad that he's now also starting to realize. But, sir, I found him. Shit, more of them are coming. Let's run. Ooh, a bridge. Well, that's not good. We're surrounded. We have to jump. Are you crazy? A bullet in the head hurts less than drowning. Just jump! Alright, here we go! Oh, well, there's more of the flowers that I needed for my medicine. Is it too late to do that mission now? Because I'm not sure where we'll end up. And that's our fake dog, Dag. That's not actually our name. Dang, the art in this game is good. It really is. So where are we? Doc? Hey, Doc, are you alive? <coughs> yeah, you shouldn't be face down in the water. That's not good. Looks like we lost him. At least for now. Have you seen our weapons? Um... I can see our sniper down there. It looks kind of busted. It seems they got carried away. At least we have my rifle.
No way. What's wrong? The barrel got bent. We're completely screwed. Hmm. The things in my bag seem to be fine, at least. Hey, that's a city, isn't it? Looks like it. Hmm. Should we ask for directions? Wearing these uniforms? That's probably a bad idea. Let's take a look around. Maybe we can find something to disguise ourselves. That would not be a bad idea at all. Let's see. Oh, well, we can't get there. <gasps> it's a little kitten. Ah, oh, look at this fluzzy, fluffy, or uh, animal. Uh, Rourke has never seen a cat. It's so cute. It is so cute. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll stop. Uh, looks like there's some clothes here. So can we just borrow these? Would it be bad if we took these? If no one's wearing them, it means they have spare clothes, right? Or they're sitting naked in their house right now. Could be, for all we know. I don't think I'll be able to run in these. Shut it. We just need to blend in. True. Let's enter the city. We're too exposed here. Alright. There we go. So, let's see. What can we do here? Hmm, nothing but trash. Some wooden planks and... Yeah, we can't get in the water. We can't get those flowers. So, I think we may have... Missed our opportunity to complete that quest. I really wonder how they're going to deal with backtracking. but Because it doesn't really feel like we're going to get a chance to go back to the forest we were in. Let alone the core where, you know... Um, because we're not really... We're, 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 we deserted from the army. So how are we going to get back in there and do those missions? I really wonder how they're going to deal with quests in that regard. All right, so we have the quartz watch. We have a broken keychain, which gives plus two agility and plus two luck. Actually, in that case, you have plus two agility, and this also gives you plus two luck. So that seems like a better deal there. So that's good. All right, so before we go into the town proper, let's do a quick save here. There we go. Or can we go in this house, actually? No. That's really a bit of a shame. You can't really enter many houses. I guess it makes sense, you know, people would lock their door, but still, I like exploring that and stuff. What's going on? Let's follow them. Hmm. Yeah, what is going on? Oh, hello, sir. Of course, everyone's gonna speak Russian, aren't they? That's gonna be troublesome. Because I don't understand a word. Sir, excuse... Mm, yeah, backwards are... No idea. He does not seem happy. And it looks like he hurt his wrist or something. So that's not good. What was that? He looks incredibly upset. I wonder what's going on. Hmm? I think he might have dropped something. We should hand it back to him. Should we go look for him? Rourke, we don't have time for that. We need to find a way out of here quickly. Yeah, but, well, it is letter after all. It should say where we could find him or where it should be sent to. I'll keep it with me. All right, we have a letter added to our inventory and that starts a quest, communication breakdown. All right, so let's see actually, yeah, in the core. So yeah, in the core, we didn't do the finding inspiration quest, which feels like that's something we should have completed already. So that's probably something we won't be able to finish. And the ominous room, we saw a little bit about that, but we don't really know much more. We did at least do the perfect shot and fair trade, so at least we did two of the quests there. At the small outpost, we never completed the underground 
rumors, but I'm not sure how to do that because we weren't allowed to enter any building. So maybe we can go back later. Uh, but we did do the other two, so that's good. And yeah, in the forest, we did find the secret campsite, but we only got like three of the herbs. So that's not really good enough. And now in Kaliningrad, there's a lot of quests here, actually. Wow. Okay, so we'll have to... S we might be here for a while. We'll have to see if we can do those. Mm. All right, you're also speaking Russian. But yeah, she's upset. Okay, uh, let's let's just keep going a little bit. See what else we can find. More locked doors. There's a puppy. It's barking. Cool. A concerned woman? You look like a little toddler, to be honest. Ah, nice. We got some cola. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, everyone seems to be anxious, scared, or otherwise unhappy. But all of them are speaking Russian. We can't understand any of it. A lot of people seem to be in a hurry. Could it be they already know what's going on? I'm getting a little worried. We better keep on following them. Well, we could, but I want to explore a little more still. Hmm. Probably no use talking to people, really. Because they don't seem to say anything of note. But some of them might have a quest or something. So I kind of want to talk to everyone just in case. Just so I don't miss anything. Plus, maybe one of my viewers uh, knows Russian and can read this. And knows what it says. Which would be cool for them. Uh, this is another sign. And it's also, of course, in Russian. Hmm. There's a box here. Nothing but trash. Vending machine. Can we buy something? Ah, something fell off. Free energy drink. I'll take it. But that's all we can get. We don't have money, as far as I know. Hmm. Oh, he's angry. It's not good. A little fruit stall here. Hey, nice, free apples. Anything else I can get? No, just saying it looks tasty. Okay, so we're just stealing some apples. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm sure that army has done worse things than steal some apples. Hmm. You're pessimistic, but yeah, it's no use. Can we get in here? Nope, another locked door. Hmm. Another raven here. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. Ooh. Wait, is this? This looks like the church that we were at the start of the game. Huh. And it seems like it's being used like as an evacuation shelter. Is that the way to put it? I don't know if that's the correct wording for it. Huh? Charity collector, huh? Yep, and he's gathered a lot of supplies. People are probably going to need that soon. Eh, grieving people. Ah, you're kind. That That's good to know. Even a mother with children and a crying child. But nobody can tell us a word of English. Unfortunately. Alright, well, I guess we should head further up. Another kitty. Yikes. What's wrong? I just... I don't trust them, that's all. <laughs> don't trust little cute Kit Kats. Oh, out of here. You're so silly. You're really silly. Hmm. Yeah, more people we can't really talk to. There's another dog here. Hmm. And that's about it. Oh, hey. There's a familiar face. Can we go in here? No. Let's see. A lot of commotion here. Seems like everyone is trying to get on that boat. Definitely seems like it. This is the third one already. Will they ever let us leave? There are still a lot of families left though. Did you hear that? Yeah, I didn't expect to find English speakers here. 
They might be able to tell us what's going on. Let's go talk to them. That sounds like a smart plan, actually. Because we could really use some information. Excuse me. Uh, let's uh, introduce ourselves. Let's be polite. Hey, sorry to intrude. My friend and I just got here. We can't speak a word of Russian. Ah, hello. Are you guys tourists? Uh, yeah. We got a bit lost, and we don't know what's going on right now. Haven't you heard? Small towns nearby have been attacked this morning by the Polish army. There's no doubt they will eventually target the city. Crap, we need to leave this place as soon as possible. I don't mean to pry, but what could possibly bring you guys here? Uh, we like the architecture of rundown buildings in a war zone. I don't think that's the greatest answer. Uh, maybe we should just say that we have been unlucky, which I guess in a way is true. Just real luck, I guess. In any case, we need to get out of the city as soon as possible. Is there any other way to leave? The ferry is the safest way to leave the tower right now. The roads have been blocked. I'm Lin, by the way. Oh, uh, I'm Rourke. Nice to meet you, Lin. Again, because technically we met you, but I guess that was in the future. So we're coming up to the point where the game started, which is neat. Out of here, nice to meet you. And this guy here is Ivan. Sorry about your vacation. That's okay. I guess the only option left is to go on foot. We need some supplies for a long road though. Do you know if there's anything open around here? We haven't eaten in a long time. Hmm, I highly doubt it. Most businesses should be closed by now, given the circumstances. And it's gonna be a while before things go back to normal. If you want, you can stay at our place and grab something to eat while we wait for the ferry. Oh, I don't know if we should. Actually, that sounds great. It does? No worries, it's okay. Anybody would have done the same under these circumstances. Let's go. Oh, well, that's very kind of them. How much longer are we going to have to keep lying? Well, hopefully not too much longer. Make yourselves at home. We didn't have the chance to go to the store, so there isn't much we can offer. But I might have snacks or something. Cool. So we're in their little house now. Oh, nice. And we can walk around. Should we leave our shoes in here? I don't know. I don't know if there's a shoe taking off button. So I'll leave mine on for the moment. And I'll just look around. A photo of a kid with two adults. Hmm. We can't really read the title of books. There's nothing interesting inside. Anything over here? Nope. Can we go in here? Ooh. See, this, this house looks so nice and cute. So I really think it's a shame that we're not really allowed to enter more buildings because it would be really fun to enter more. It's a violin? I don't think that's a violin. That looks bigger. Is that maybe a cello or is it just a guitar? I can't tell. I'm not great at musical instruments. So I don't blame Rourke entirely. Is this a laptop? A notebook? Hmm. Bird? But why? Ah, oh, it's pretty cute. I wouldn't mind having a plush like that. It's pretty cute and round. All right, let's uh, let's talk. So, uh, how long do you think it will take for the next ferry to arrive? They said the next one should be arriving in a few hours. Is that enough time? I hope so. Hey, thanks for inviting us in. Really. No problem. It's been a while since we've gotten any guests. Well, these things will go to waste if we don't need them anyway. So, how long have you guys been here in Kaliningrad? Have you visited the capital yet? Uh, no. We just got here. Huh, that sucks. I hope it's still around once this is all over. Hmm. Yeah. Enough with this gloomy atmosphere. This isn't how I want to spend my last hours at home. Anyone up for a drink? Hmm. I wonder what kind of drink, but 
You know what? That's a kind offer. Sure. Yeah, sure. Let's not dampen the mood. Let's just have a drink. I think that's it's for the best. I know things are looking good, aren't looking good right now, but being upset about it won't change a thing. If anything, we just have to wait a little, and it'll be over before we know it. Yeah, we should enjoy this piece while it lasts. What the hell is this crap? Wow, tastes like rubbing alcohol. Why do you know what rubbing alcohol tastes like? Oh, come on, is this beer too strong for you guys? Nah, he's right about the taste, Vanya. Wait, Vanya? I thought his name was Ivan. Is this like a nickname or a mistake? Well, Rourke mentions it, so I guess it's gonna be a nickname. Ah, that's what I call Ivan. Everyone here has long and complicated names. He's actually Ivan Nikolaevich Cherevatenko. I most likely butchered that. No one's forcing you to use full names, you know. But anyway, I'm afraid these Imperial Stouts are all I have left in the fridge right now. Don't worry, it's not all bad. These yellow things here are... They're nice, salty and crunchy. They're potato chips. These are just chips. Are you kidding me? Am I being too suspicious right now? A little bit. We're just messing with you. Of course we eat chips all the time. <laughs> Uh-oh. That can't be good. That was incredibly loud. It must have been close. I'll go outside and take a look. We're coming with you. Uh-oh, I didn't take the chance to save. But, well, Lin and Ivan have joined the party. Cool. By Lingyu, party members can act as interpreters and help you communicate with the locals. A flag will appear next to interpreted message to indicate the language it's being translated from. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Having Ivan in your party will allow you to communicate with other Russian speakers. Okay, so Ivan specifically can communicate with Russian speakers. That's good. Whew. Well... Uh, I think that's a pretty good place to end things off here. Next time we'll go outside and investigate what that glass breaking noise was. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all on the next episode of Long Gone Days.